Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you a number of ways to fix the problem of laptop being connected to Wi-Fi but with no internet access. This is often indicated by a yellow triangle on your Wi-Fi icon, and of course you won't be able to open any web pages on your browser. Now there are different possible reasons why you may be having this issue. It could be due to problems with a service provider or with your Wi-Fi router, and it could also be due to problems with the network configurations on your laptop. So here I will try to cover each of these possibilities and hopefully we'll have your Wi-Fi working properly again. So before changing any settings on your laptop, it's advisable to first check and see if this problem is coming from your internet service provider or from your Wi-Fi router, especially if you are using a private internet subscription. Obviously, if you are connected via a public service like campus network or city network, then you won't be able to perform this test, in which case you should proceed with the other suggestions in the video. But if you are using a home Wi-Fi router or some kind of modem, then you can do a quick check to see if this is a problem with the service provider or with your router equipment. To check for problems with a service provider, you could try to connect directly to your PC instead of passing through the router or modem. In that case, you will need to pull out this CAT5 RJ45 or RJ11 cable if you are using a phone line that goes into your WLAN port on the Wi-Fi router from the wall and hook it directly to the jack on your laptop and then wait for it to configure. If the yellow triangle persists and you are still unable to solve the web, then there is a high probability that this problem is coming from your service provider, in which case you could call or send a message to help rectify the problem. But if this yellow triangle disappears and you are able to browse when this cable is directly connected to your laptop, then the next thing to check is your Wi-Fi router. A quick way to check this is to connect another wireless device like another laptop or another mobile phone to your Wi-Fi and see if this other device is able to access the internet connection. If it can't, then there is a high probability that certain configurations or settings on your router is hindering the Wi-Fi connection for wireless devices. If that is the case, then you need to check the settings of your router. If you are not sure how to do this, then you might need to seek the help of an expert. However, if some other wireless devices are able to connect and access the web from your router, then there is chances that this problem is coming from your laptop, in which case you should apply one or more of the following fixes to try to resolve this problem. The first fix to try would be to run Windows Network Troubleshooting Tools. There are two possible ways to do this. The first is to simply right-click on the Wi-Fi icon from the taskbar and select Troubleshoot Problems and then wait for the troubleshooting to complete. Afterwards, you should get a feedback from the troubleshooting on what problems were detected. This rarely resolves such problems automatically. Often it will give some suggestions on what next you can try to do in order to resolve this problem. Another way to troubleshoot this problem automatically is to go through Windows settings by clicking on this gear icon. And then on this page, select Update and Security. Next, you want to click on Troubleshoot. And then on this page, click on Internet Connections and then run the troubleshooter. Again, you should get a feedback from the troubleshooter after some time on what problems were detected and maybe you could get some suggestions on how to resolve this problem in your case. However, if that doesn't work for you, then the next suggestion would be to reset your network adapter. Sometimes certain applications or malware could alter the configurations of your network adapter or drivers and prevent them from accessing the internet. In such situations, resetting your network adapters could be a possible solution to this problem. To do that, go to your Windows settings by clicking on the gear icon. On this Windows settings page, click on Network and Internet. On the page that follows, go down to where it says Network Reset and click on it. Then on the next page, it tells you that this process will remove and reinstall all your network adapters and then reset all network components back to the original settings. It also informs you here that your PC will restart, so before clicking on this Reset Now button, ensure you save all your works and close all applications. Then click Reset Now. Here hit Yes. 
and then click close and wait for your laptop to reboot. Upon restarting, you should try to connect back to your wireless network and see if the internet connection now works properly again. If not, then the next suggestion would be to reset your Windows Socket API. This is the API that determines how the network software accesses network services. So if somehow this API gets compromised by malware or some other malfunction, then it could also lead to this connection problem. And then resetting it back to defaults can be the solution. To reset your Network Socket API, go to your Windows search and type CMD. Then right click on the command prompt app from the search results and select run as administrator. Hit yes on the user account control and then you should have this command prompt window. Here type in the commands net sh space winsock space reset as shown on the screen and hit enter. Then type the command net sh space int space ip space reset and hit enter next type in ipconfig space forward slash release and hit enter then type ipconfig space forward slash renew and hit enter Finally, type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and hit enter. And that should complete the reset process. Afterwards, you should then restart your laptop. Now check your connection again and see if it now works properly. If not, then the next fix would be to try reinstalling your network adapter drivers. One way to do this would be to uninstall them and then restart your laptop for the drivers to install automatically upon restarting. To do that, open your search and type device manager. Then click on device manager from the search results. Then go down to where it says network adapters. Click on the drop down to reveal your network adapters and from there you will find your Wi-Fi adapter. Here right click and select uninstall device. Then a window like this should pop up. Here do not select delete the driver software for this device because that would both uninstall and completely delete the network adapter drivers. And since you have no internet connection then you won't be able to download these drivers again. So here just click uninstall and wait for the process to complete. Afterwards, you should then restart your laptop and then your network driver should install back automatically. Another way to do this would be to update your network adapter drivers using some default drivers from your laptop. This is mostly applicable to situations where this problem started after running some major updates. Then you may want to reinstall one of the default drivers recommended by Microsoft for your hardware. To do that, you need to go back to the network adapters from your device manager. Right click on wireless adapter and select update driver. On this window, click on browse my computer for driver software. Then here you can choose the best match for this list. If you are not sure of your Wi-Fi card model, then right click on the Wi-Fi icon from the taskbar and select open network and internet settings. Here click on Wi-Fi and then hardware properties. A window like this should pop up here as you can see, 
My Wi-Fi card model is Intel Centrino. So I'll select the best match from the recommended drivers and then proceed with the installation. Of course, you can also try a few other drivers from the compatible ones to see if some other driver works better for you. If you are still unable to access your internet connection, then you may want to check that the power management settings for your wireless card is not set to turn off automatically in order to save power. To verify that, right-click on the network icon from the taskbar and select Open Network and Internet Settings. On this window that pops up, click on Change Adapter Options. Here, right-click on the Wi-Fi network and select Properties. Then, click on Configure. Now, select the Power Management tab and check that this option that says Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power is not checked. If it is, then uncheck it and hit OK. Now check again and see if your internet connection works properly. The last suggestion for this tutorial would be to check your IP configurations to see if it has been reset by some applications or malware. To do that, go back to this network connections page and then right click on the Wi-Fi and select properties. Here double click on internet connection protocol version 4. You should see this properties dialog box. And now, depending on the kind of connection you are using, you may have specific IP and DNS server addresses or have them assigned automatically. In most cases, these addresses are assigned automatically. But if your connection type requires that these addresses are manually configured, then you can check with your network administrator to obtain the right addresses to enter in these fields. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications of future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.